So, it's cool. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I have a beer review and today I move along with the uh, Christmas beers and ales and lagers and whatever there is. Today I have, like last time, a beer from Tistel Brewery in Denmark, uh, one of the best and biggest breweries in Denmark. Oh, I don't know if it's one of the biggest, but it's certainly one of the most popular ones among craft beer drinkers here in Denmark. This one is called Jule Fnuk, which is, um, well, Jule is Christmas and Fnuk is like a, uh, like snow, like a single snow crystal or whatever it's called in English, American. So that's what it's called. Um, I've never tried this one before, so that's exciting. I have my notes here. I don't want to do these videos very long, as I said last time. So this one is 25 Danish crowns for 50 centiliters. That's around two and a half English pounds, give or take a little bit, and maybe three, three point five dollars or euros. And that's for half a liter. It's 5.8 percent alcohol, and they recommend serving it at six to eight degrees. This one has been sitting out of the refrigerator for 30 minutes, about 30 minutes. So that's gonna be about right I think um, what's in this is <clears throat> wow there's a heavy lacquer smell coming out at first ingredients water barley malt hops yeast and then antioxidants is added to this there's no sponsored content in this video and as always everything on this channel is just my opinion my beautiful I just love this glass. Luigi Bormioli. Titanium reinforced crystal beer taster glass. Sounds really good. Sounds really... Well, it sounds really, really good and it is. And it sounds really expensive, but it actually isn't. So, yeah. Beautiful color. This is like a strong lacquer color in my opinion the the foam head is hmm, quite white actually not too heavy first off just a heavy heavy uh lacquer pilsner smell it's hops with a little bit of um of that mold in the background Yeah, that's pretty much it. So in my opinion, this would be a traditional strong lager. Yeah, but it might taste a lot better than it smells. The smell is, is good, but it's no nothing special. So that's why I, I'm saying it might taste better, but it does smell good. So it's good. Cool. Well, the palate is very smooth. It has, it's a little bit heavy um, or fat, if you want to say that, but it's not fat. It's in, in, in beer and in spirits and stuff like that. You call it heavy. Um, there's a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of hops there at the palate. The finish is watery and actually quite boring. So the palate is really good, right amount of heavy, right amount of alcohol, a little bit of malt sweetness and a little bit of hops. Um, the finish is just, you know sometimes when you make mix juice or something like that uh, and or the coffee is too thin, that's what the finish feels like here. 
feels like there's too much water in it. It's just quite boring, actually. I will never buy this beer again. This is not for me. Um, the only flavor that I'm getting at the finish is a little bit of hops bitterness, but only just a tiny hint. It's quite unbelievable when the palate is actually good. The finish is that. It's just that boring. So, hmm. So, yeah, to, to put a little um, note on the brewery, Tista Brewery, they make a lot of very good beers. And earlier, a couple of years ago, um, in Denmark, you know, craft beers really hit the scene like 10, 15 years ago. Um, back then, this was amazing. And they have come up with a lot of very, very good beers. Now, I find that I'm disappointing more often than I actually like the beer. So, the, the variety of beers they have is huge. There's so many different kinds of beers. And maybe that's the reason for the lack of quality, in my opinion, in when you dive into the single beers. So I don't, it's a little bit disappointing and it's, it's a little bit sad actually. So yeah, where should I put this? Four point five for the Tistel Julefnuk. Disappointing, sad. Oh well, you move on and you find new beers. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. So tomorrow I will be sh moving on with whiskey reviews. Tomorrow I have the Dalmore Cigar Malt. I've never had this one before, and I'm just looking forward to this. This will be tomorrow, but for today, thank you for watching, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to share it with friends and family, and please do leave a comment down below. That would really mean a lot to me. I will respond to all of the comments. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and hit that bell button so you don't miss out. Also, please check out my Instagram account. It's stonegun underscore. Um, if you like what you see there, please just give me a follow there. That would really mean a lot to me as well. So thank you for watching and uh, go Yule.